Welcome if you're new, I'm Alicia, and if you are not new, you may be one of the many who are stoked for a vegan video. We didn't have much vegan content last month, so we are spreading the love this month and bringing some of that back. Today we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo, but really, we're just using Cinco de Mayo as an excuse to make delicious vegan Mexican food. My favorite fiesta revolves around tacos, so let's build a vegan taco together from scratch. First, you need that tortilla. How about using only one ingredient? Say what? Plus water and salt. I add masa harina, which is the corn flour traditionally used for tortillas, with water and salt. Mix until a dough forms, adjusting water if needed. Shape into balls, I like to use a cookie scoop to keep it simple and end up with cute smaller tortillas, but you can make yours any size you prefer. Cover with a moist towel to prevent drying. Now we press. If you have a tortilla press, great, but if not, you can try my hack. I took two plastic bags and cut them in half so I just have a piece of plastic. I tape one to the surface I'm working on and one to a flat bottom pot or any flat surface would work. I add a dough ball to the plastic, press, and voila! A pressed tortilla, easy peasy. Of course, a rolling pin would work just fine here as well. Whichever way you choose to get them from ball to a flat disc is fine. Carefully transfer to a plate and finish up pressing the rest. Keep your tortillas moist under that towel so they don't dry out. To cook, toss them onto an ungreased pan and bake for a quick 30 seconds, flip for one minute, and then flip once more for 30 more seconds. They should be soft and pliable when done, but they will soften up even more as they cool, so let them chill for a bit. These are amazing, seriously, so much better than store-bought tortillas, and I love that I know the simple ingredients. Wowza! If you enjoyed that recipe and want more, how about a thumbs up and subscribe? Maybe even hit the bell, eh? Eh? Next up, we need our meat. I mean, jackfruit. I'm using canned jackfruit because it is so much easier and I got it from Trader Joe's, not sponsored. I prefer to drain and rinse it so it doesn't have the brine taste and then just shred it apart. It doesn't have to look perfect. I also thinly slice an onion and FYI, I am hosting an onion goggles giveaway. Three of my newsletter subscribers will each win a pair. So if you are on my email list, you are entered. If you're not subscribed yet, use the link in the description. I do a new giveaway every single month and you are entered every single month if you are on that list of subscribers. I add oil and that onion to a pan and let it go for a good few minutes. We want it really caramelized and delicious. Then I can add in the jackfruit along with taco seasoning. I'm using a packaged mix, but you could of course make your own. Cook for eight to 10 minutes until cooked through and soft, but beginning to crisp on the edges. That couldn't have been easier. It looks like meat. It actually can totally fool the taste buds too. The taco seasoning is savory and delicious, and it's going to be a perfect meat substitute in our vegan tacos. If you want more jackfruit recipes and info, I have a whole video on jackfruit that you should watch. Anyone remember that intro? It wouldn't be Mexican, at least for me, without cheese. I am not a fan of fake vegan cheese. I have had a lot of requests for a cheese that is not nut-based, so how about cauliflower queso? To a food processor or blender, I add steamed cauliflower florets, nutritional yeast, tahini paste, apple cider vinegar, turmeric, curry powder, mustard powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Let it rip. Add a bit of water to get the queso to your preferred texture and thickness. In case though you were wondering, this is freaking delicious. It actually tastes so cheesy from that nutritional yeast and those spices not only add great flavor, but they fool the mind by transforming it into this vibrant yellow color. Okay, we are almost there. Last, I am sharing a sour cream with no cream at all. I start with cashews, which I've soaked overnight. I drain them and add them to a food processor with water, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and salt. Blend it on up. I let this go for four to five minutes, scraping down the sides because I want it silky, smooth, and creamy. Of course, season it to your preference as well. To be honest, when we filmed, this may have been our team's favorite recipe. It's creamy and tangy without any dairy. I love it. Then we can assemble our taco with everything we've prepared and more. Use your favorite toppings. Taco Bell, a fiesta. 
Seriously, there was nothing left of this taco bar. We ate everything because it was that freaking delicious and none of us are even vegan. I hope you all enjoyed this and that you can try out your own vegan fiesta or take one of these recipes and add it to your own mix. Let me know which one you're most excited about in the comments below. I'll be back next week with a brand new episode and don't worry, we have more content coming for all lifestyles all month long. I love you all and remember, especially when there's a taco bar, it's all a matter of mind over munch.